Do you ever struggle to fill the blank page in a sketchbook? Or have been working in a sketchbook for so long that you just want finished? When this happens, I like to fill my sketchbook with really fun, quick pieces of art. And since Easter is coming up, I thought this would be the perfect opportunity for me to show you five fun Easter art ideas that you can use to fill your sketchbook, create cards, or hang a piece of art on your wall. Good afternoon, welcome back to my channel, my name is Chantal, so let's get started. For the first idea, we're going to be painting using the wet on wet technique. For this method, I'm using watercolour. You can also use gouache and acrylic. They'll give the same fluffy look that we're after, but they'll be a little bit more vibrant. The first thing you want to do is grab some paper. Any watercolour or mixed media paper will work for this technique. Today, I'm using my Canson mixed media paper, which is super affordable. The first thing you're going to want to do is grab yourself some clean water and a nice big paintbrush. And we're going to cover the paper with water. The trick with wet on wet is to not flood the entire paper but create a nice sheen over the top. It should be slightly shiny but not pooling. This is my favourite method to create cute fluffy animals and you might have seen it before on this channel. Today we're going to be creating a chick so you're going to want to mix a nice yellow orange shade for the chick. On that wet paper just paint a nice big blob for the body and a smaller blob for the head. Make sure you filled in the area that you want and it's the colour that you want. Factor in that lighter colours will dry slightly darker and darker colours will dry slightly lighter and then we're just gonna leave that be. Let it dry on its own and you'll see that the paint will form a nice fluffy border because we used the wet on wet technique. Once that's all dry we're gonna move on to the details. For this you can really use anything. I've personally found that colour pencils and neo colour pastels are the easiest for me. They're the kind of mediums that I can use quickly and colour pencils especially come to a nice sharp point so they're really easy to use. But you can also use paint like watercolour, gouache and acrylic. You can use oil pastels, markers, pens, brush markers, there's so many different mediums you can use. For the chick to be recognisable we only need three components. Beak, eyes and feet. I'm starting with the feet to pop the placement in and I decided to do my chick facing to the side but that's completely up to you. And I'm using an orange, brown and black neo colour to add the beak, the feet and the eye. This is really simple and I would recommend using a reference. I decided to add some loose lines to the fur but honestly I think simple is the route to go here so you definitely don't need to do that. Add as little or much detail as you like. It's super simple and there's your chick. I love this technique so much because by using wet on wet the paint just creates an animal for you. The fluffy effect really works and I love it. I hope you do too. Moving on to the second idea now, we're going to be using negative space. For this idea, you can pick any subject you like. You could do animals, you could do a landscape, you could even do words. Since it's Easter, I'm doing a bunny. So the first thing you're going to want to do is pencil out the outline of your shape. I kept the bunny super simple and if you're not really sure where to start, have a look online for outlines of animals or whatever subject you would like and you can use that as a reference. For this method you can use masking fluid to form a border but I decided to keep it super simple. I drew my rabbit nice and big and by doing this it's really easy to just go around the sketch. Again grab yourself some clean water and we're going to wet the background but carefully go around the shape and try not to get any inside. From this point you can add whatever paint you like. I'm using watercolour, I decided to go for really bright vibrant colours. I personally love pinks and purples, yellows, I think they're fantastic combinations and they're really perfect for Easter. You can add water blooms, salt, alcohol, more paint, you can do whatever you like at this point. Our subject will remain white in the middle so we're just going to have fun around the outside. Once that's dry it's completely completely up to you if you'd like to decorate it further. You can just leave it there. But I decided to reach for a white colour pencil and I started adding some curvy lines around the outside, a little bit of pattern. It's really not necessary but you can add whatever you like. One thing that I often gravitate towards is drawing stars. I just find them so fun. Whatever your thing is, just feel free to add it. And that's the second idea all done. This is a super simple one that takes less than five minutes easy. And you can do any subject you like, it doesn't have to be an animal. 
for the third idea, we're going to be drawing some flowers in a really nice loose style. The first thing you're going to want to do is grab yourself a waterproof fine liner. If you don't have one of those, you can also use a biro or a coloured pencil. They will work just as well. And we're going to loosely draw some flowers in a nice fun doodle style. If you're not sure of where to begin, you can go on Pinterest or Google and just type in something like a flower outline, a simple flower outline, and it will give you lots of inspiration. With flowers, sometimes it can be hard to know where to begin and how to do it right. So for this one, I'm going to keep it really simple and do five flowers. I chose to fill some of the areas in with black ink just for that doodle style, but that's completely up to you. Once the ink is all dry, we're going to move on to painting. For this idea, I'm using watercolour paint because it's the most transparent but you can also use gouache and acrylic and watercolor pigments with white mixed in but you'll probably need to go over the line work again because the paints are a little bit more opaque so the lines won't really show through so transparent watercolors are definitely simpler another option is to add color with color pencils or pastels but today I'm gonna be painting the next thing you're gonna want to do is add some water over your drawing once the paper is nice and wet, we're then going to add some colour. I chose to stick to a nice neutral semi-realistic pattern, but you can really add any colour that you like. I used yellow, pink and purple to fill in the petals, green for the grass and a little bit of blue just to fill in those gaps in the sky. It's really up to you whether you want to go for light colours, dark colours, vibrant colours, just have fun with it. Then we're going to leave that to dry. And that's the third idea done, it's a really simple scene and I love the whole doodle scratchy look to it. Now for the fourth idea, and this one is my favourite. We're going to be collaging a little bit of scrapbooking and we're going to make some eggs in a nest. The first thing you're going to want to do is look for some paper. I'm looking for vintage style paper, something with patterns on, with pictures on. We're not going for realism here. And this doesn't have to be bought scrapbook supplies. I like to keep any paper that I find. Keep an eye out and make sure to check food packaging. Some boxes have a really lovely aesthetic. Think chocolate boxes, makeup boxes. There's so many different things you could use and it's good to reuse those items again. This time though, I decided to keep it simple. I've got loads of new scrapbook supplies in from a big Timu haul that I did and I was really excited to give them a go. Now we're going to draw the shape of an egg. If you really look at an egg you'll see that they're not completely round and they're fairly narrow on top. I kept this in mind whilst doing my sketch but obviously it doesn't need to be completely accurate. Then we're going to grab some scissors and cut out the shape. I went for three eggs because I thought that would look really good for the composition but you can really do as many as you like. Once they're all cut out, we're then going to add a pattern on top. I reached for my Neo colours, but you can use any drawing medium you like. Think stripes, spots, zigzags, stars, hearts, whatever you like. You can use one colour, different colours, any pattern, any colour, just have fun with it. Then we're going to grab a glue stick and stick those down. When you stick down your eggs, the first one that you pop down will appear as though it's in the back. And the last one will be at the front. So make sure you stick the biggest down first and the smallest last. And you can really work with any composition you like here. Then for the final step, I'm reaching for my pastels again, but you can use any medium. And we're just going to draw a load of branches around the eggs to give the impression that it's a nest. Consider adding oranges, browns, blacks, different shades to really bring dimension. But this is just a simple art piece, so it doesn't need a ton of detail. Sometimes simple is better and it's more fun and easier. And that's this idea all done. This one is my favorite. I love it so much. And now we're going to move on to the final idea. For this one, we're going to be drawing a sheep, which is kind of associated with Easter and springtime. This is a super simple method. We're going to be painting a background and drawing the sheep on top. One trick that I love to use for this one is to use textured paper. When you use pastels or pencils on top of textured or cold pressed paper, it just makes it look so much more professional. So for the first step, we're going to paint in the background. You can really do this any way you like. You can use wet on wet, wet on dry. You can make the background dark, light. You can make it kind of realistic or just like a blur. You can use crazy colors. For this one, I decided to go for a really nice pastel look. So I just did a simple blue to green landscape. Going into the second layer now, this is where you're gonna wanna grab your drawing supplies. 
Make sure you find yourself a reference photo of a sheep. This isn't essential, but it definitely makes the process a lot easier. And we're gonna draw a sheep on top. It's up to you whether you want sketchy lines or really polished line work. It's also up to you whether you decide to fill in the sheep or leave the paint showing through. You can add lots of details, you can press down on your pencils or pastels, or you can just press down lightly so that the textured paper shows through. You can add some grass, you can add some flowers, you can add stars, you can do whatever you like. It's just a super simple open idea. Any colour, any style, even any subject, just have fun with this one. I decided to go really minimalist and this is how the final ideas turned out. And that's it, five super simple Easter art ideas that you can use to fill your sketchbook, to make cards, gifts, or just fill your space with art. If you give any of these ideas a try, make sure you tag me on Instagram because I would love to see. I hope you have a fantastic Easter if you celebrate. If not, have a lovely break, look after yourself, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.